Combo Studios in Chicago, Illinois. This is Late Night Convo with Ella Mac J. Tonight, we bring back a fan favorite side piece, part two, with special guest appearances by Mrs. Erica Sullivan and Lyndon Ware of LP Industries. Now, here's the lovely, talented, and beautiful Miss. What's up, y'all? Ella Mac J here. So we're on our 50th show. Boom, let's crack it. Yes, who ever thought we'd get to this point? But uh, so after two years and 50 episodes, it's time to take a vacay. So we went ahead and, well, no, not we. The producer went ahead and got a substitute, which is cool. I'm sure they're going to mess up, as they always do, because they're not Ella Mac J. But it's okay. Go ahead and enjoy the show. Let me know how y'all like. Welcome to Side Piece 2, my little secret. Yeah, you thought Ella Mac J was going to be here, but she's not. So let me tell you something. I'm going to do a better job than she's ever done before. Don't know if you're ready for it, but keep prepared because it's going to be some jerky jerky. <laughs> All right. Now, Miss Such and Such had her own little fling thing, too. I was not the side piece. I had a side piece, you damn straight. He knew everything that I wanted him to know. He paid my gas bill. He paid my light bill. He even, <laughs> he built my house, all right? That's how you know you got it, can you see my slip down, all right? Well, anyway, we're not going to have this conversation by ourselves, so we got two people here with us now. We got Miss Erica and Mr. London. How are you two doing today? Good, right. are you? I am wonderful, baby, all right. Now, the question that I have for you is, what are the perks of being a side piece? <laughs> Are there any perks of being a side piece? Well, I can't hear you, boy. Speak up now. Don't make me use this ruler. I guess if you want to call it a perk, uh, it's used to use polygamy as a way of uh, preservation of the people. Polygamy. Yeah. What is polygamy? I need you to speak up, though. I can't hear you, boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Talk from the fruit of your loins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Polygamy is when um, you'll have more than one spouse. All right. It's the male, I believe, they use polygamy, and the female, they use uh, philandry. Oh, okay. Yeah, it goes both ways, whether it's a female having multiple husbands or a male having multiple wives. But uh, in history, they use it as preservation for the people in you know, other reasons. Preservation. Also. You're using too many big words for me. You know, this is my off day, okay? Mm -hmm. So so tell me what that means, too. I don't know. Preservation. Uh, like, so to make more people? Yeah, the survival. Oh, so they get pumping and a grinding? Yes, ma'am. Oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> I think everybody loves the pumping and a grinding. <laughs> All right. Do you think there are any perks of being a side piece? It's just more than one person. When a when a woman is dealing with more than one man, mm -hmm. and a man is dealing with more than one woman. Is, is there a good part of having that? Like, no. Like, no? I think it's great. I think not. <laughs> well, let me tell you, this is why I think it's great. Not a perk for me. That means I don't have to like you every day. When I, when I talk to you, I just pick up the phone when I want to. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying that, you know, I do that no more. Till then, my hey, day, you know, now I'm a little seasoned and, you know. I got one little, one little thing. That's what he changed. Um, so, yeah, like so, the the, the perks. I I love it. When I was younger, you should try it. <laughs> <laughs> you must be married. You're looking at me like, oh no. Yes, I am. I'm sorry for you. Yes. All right. So, is it easier being a side piece instead of a traditional relationship? No. What? It's not easier. Tell me why. Because it's too much time for someone when you got an extra person. Oh. When you're in a relationship with more than one woman or more than one man. It's too much time for people. And if you hear about a side piece, this no, that's destruction. Okay. Shoot, that make me broke just thinking about it, though. You know, you're talking about some, oh, can you do this? I can't do that. Damn, I got to go over here again. I got to be over here with this chick or this dude. Too much for me. Well, how about you? How do you feel about it? I I think it's, uh, personally, I think it's better if you think about it. 
Oh, really? Yeah, I, I believe that, um, one, due to our mental mind state, they demonize it. Right. Um, I believe it was uh, in the 1800s when they outlawed it in the United States. Oh, you're dropping that knowledge on me, boy. Wait a minute. I never paid attention in history. Tell me something else. Uh, it was called the uh, Church of the Latter-day Saints. They wow. believed in polygamy. All right. And um, because they can't tax you, oh. I believe that's why they started demonizing it. Because if this was something that was worldly practice. Right. I mean, not just for men. Women, too. Like, uh, like do you like the Amazon women? Oh, they're freaking gorgeous, tall, and got the big, everything's big. Everybody <laughs> likes that one thing. Well, they, um, what you would call a matriarch society, they chose. You and these big words. Let me, I told you it was my off day. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, they, the, the way that they operate, that they were mostly the head of the household, if you, if you would call it comments nowadays. Okay. Um, the men wasn't really needed except for what I guess you would, in reference, certain Muslims would say the women are needed for. Oh. They just switch roles. Oh, really? So that's kind of like what's going on now. So like the women are the head of the household. Because yes. we rule the world. Thank you, Beyonce. I'm glad you're pointing <laughs> that out. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, you, they, you oh, think they rule the world? Get down straight. <laughs> we bring life into everything. Yes, oh, yeah. yes, I'm saying. Well, you hold that thought, we'll be right back with a little bit more. See what else we got, because this man, he dropping this knowledge to the end, baby. <laughs> Need a promo kit? How about videography and marketing services? Look no further, One Love One House TV is offering just that. Combined with TV exposure and business sponsors, they will definitely get you on the right track. Contact April Whitaker at 773-790-9655. Many people always ask, what is Convo? Or what is Convo about? Seriously? <laughs> Convo is controversial. <laughs> Convo is fun. <laughs> that girl good. <laughs> when people ask me what the purpose of Convo is, I say to put life back into a lost art form, communication. You want to talk about relationships, politics, fitness, money, hip-hop, even if you want an exclusive interview or maybe even a little improv. We're not Carsons, but you've come to the right place. So join the conversation of today's generation. Join the combo. <laughs> now, is being a side piece different from an open relationship? Yes. How? Uh, an open relationship. I can't hear you, boy. I mean, I, I feel... <laughs> you must be in an open relationship right now. No, 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 no. No? Mm -mm. Are you gay? No, no. I, yeah, I think you are. <laughs> He's gay. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but I'm just saying I think he is. Right? What were you saying? I think an uh, uh, open relationship uh, promotes uh, Satanism. I really do. I... Diablo himself? How? Well, you know, uh, everybody has rituals that they practice. Mm -hmm. So to be open like that is just like having an origin. Everybody knows there's something wrong with it. Origin. 
That's true. That's true. Even Although, people who practice polygamy, they don't do orgies. How do you know? I bet you they do. <laughs> <laughs> they be like, hey, you know what? My friend's gonna come over. I think you know, like, and they be like, wind up getting intoxicated, right? So like, <laughs> you know, I give you another example. Here, I'm giving you a good example. And no, it didn't happen to me. I know what you're thinking. So let's say it's like the man and a the woman, they're in a relationship, right? And then the woman be like, you know what, I got a friend that wants to come over, but he doesn't know that the man doesn't know that he's the side piece, right? So the girlfriend gets both of them drunk and then just wind up doing something up pumping and a grinding, right? <laughs> That's a disaster. It is, but see, but then they wind up being, you know, doing it all together as an orgy. Didn't know that they were a side piece. So I think it can kind of work the same way. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Wow. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> that. Good time. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. My good orgy with some fruit, you know, some strawberries and stuff. That sounds good right about now. I mean, okay. So is the man or the woman usually the side piece? It's the woman. Really? Why do you say that? Cause the man always step out. I don't think I don't think he on the woman and go get a side piece. It's always the man going to get another woman if he's in the main relationship. That's how I feel. I, I, I think it's how you really look at it. Like, you know, I, I want to be completely honest. Please do. Okay. If you're married right. to the United States of America, mm -hmm. uh -huh. you automatically are a side piece because you're married to that man in the middle. You give him the rights to you family, the rights to the children, the rights to your well-being. Oh, damn. So that's almost just like having another husband. Because if something goes wrong, you can always go to Big Daddy and he's going to fix the problem and get on your other husband. Oh, oh dang. So this is like that song. It may call me Big Daddy. That's a so you're song. saying if you marry and you have a husband, the government is the husband as well? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yes. That is tragic. It is, but you know what? But it, <laughs> Now you got a really good point, because what every time you want to get child support, you want to get divorced, guess where you got to go? The court. And then you got to pay for it. It's more expensive than it is for you to get married. It's what, $15 for the marriage certificate? But then it's 60. Five, then 60 and then it's five grand for you just to get rid of this so-and-so. I'm about to call him something else. I'm <laughs> talking about the old Mr. Suss and stuff. Yeah, I'm not, not for your ass. Still on that child, child support. <laughs> Better pay for little Kareem and Hassan. And all the other six kids I got. <laughs> I really feel that they came up with that to snatch the land from the black women because the black women are our mothers. Mm. Like, uh, they had uh, women activists back in the 70s. Mm -hmm. uh, that's when uh, <laughs> so marriage licenses and uh, social security cards, all that was implemented back then. And uh, when you had the women's rights going on, you had white women, Hispanic women, black women, all coming together. Right. And then when everybody got separated, mm -hmm. the black women were the only ones standing by themselves going, we don't need the men. Everybody else went back to their husbands. And if you look at it statistically, who are the lowest to have a marriage in the first place? Ah, damn, boy. <laughs> You're trying to take my job. You're dropping <laughs> statistics and shit. Oh, man. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. But you have a great point. Yeah, yeah, that's very, they want to steal the land. They, they want to steal the land because the, the land really don't belong to the, to the man at all. We, we come from the woman. I, my personal feelings. Yeah. Tell me all about it. Like, um, if you take uh, Pocahontas, like, she's a relative to the Lady Empress. This is how they partially stole land from her. Wichita, because uh, when they took Pocahontas, they took her over to England. She got married to an old boy, mm -hmm. had a child by that man. Oh, they don't tell you that. Before part. she got back over to what's considered America, uh -huh. they threw her overboard after they had her doped up. Wow. So they threw the mother overboard, but they have rights to the land because now they have rights to the child. Oh, well, would you look at that? So. It's almost the same way when it comes down to side pieces because whether it's a male having multiple children right. by multiple women mm -hmm. uh -huh. or a woman who decides that she doesn't need a man but has multiple children uh -huh. by a different man. Gotcha. They take the rights of the children. If 
they take the rights of the children, you have the rights of the land. And it starts with the creator, the woman. Damn, on that note, you should stay tuned. We got more of him. <laughs> oh, in Haraka too. Uh, damn, me too. Just come back. <laughs>have a product or business? Do you need graphics, video, and promotion? Ask us how to get your idea from concept to completion. Contact us at the email below. Don't have time to sit in a busy salon? Book an appointment at Camille's Wooden Comb Salon, your mobile oasis. Offering natural nail care services, natural hairstyling, lock maintenance, and much more. Visit styleseat.com forward slash Camille J for more details and to book your appointment. What you doing up late night? Ooh. Ooh. Call Miss Fleo for your free Pikachu at Pokemon. The tarot card reader. Gotta catch them all. All right, let's go for our first caller. Caller, you there? Miss Fleo, what's up, baby? Oh, it's my man DMX. How you doing? No, 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 no Miss Leo, this is Keith. Don't get it twisted, baby. Oh, you must be his brother. How you doing, Nar? Uh, you know, I'm hanging, baby. I just had to call you because, you know, I'm having a little financial problems, drug problems, and relationship problems. I'm just trying to get my shit together. I mean, excuse me, get my stuff together. You know, so I had to call you, you know, see what's going on. All right, well, see, let's see the first thing going on here. Are you still married? Of course, you know I'm still married. I get mine in every night, baby. All right. Well, it looks like your wife is pregnant and it is not your baby. What the hell you mean it's not my baby? You know, I'm banging boots every night. You know, I get mine in, baby. I got some more muscle. I grow a long stroke. Well, I don't know what to say about that boy, so you need to go ahead and uh, just take care of that child support there. <laughs> Make me sandwich. Make your own damn sandwich. I thought you were hungry. I th- was thinking perhaps that you may need a sandwich. I see in your future it's time for your dinner. All right, now, thank you. Call me now for your free tarot reading. And from now, I think we're going to go to our next caller. All right, see you there. guys but it's just really actually real bad right there all right so now with all this information that we got we know that being a side piece is great we know that being a side <laughs> piece will give you advantages right many advantages if you don't like regular relationships you just get a side piece <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> all right and then we also know that if you are a side piece you don't respect yourself right because you're right. like you know what i'm second best whatever these damn skirts just really working my nerves. <laughs> All right. Now, we're going to give the people some facts. Some hard evidence. I have searched hard for these facts. <laughs> and if people don't know if they're a side piece, we're going to let them know today, right now. All right? All right. You're listening? All right. <laughs> this might apply to you. All right. Now, when you take pictures with your man or with your girl, whoever it is, they take it with their own phone. You can't take it with your phone. You want to know why? Because you're trying to post it. They're like, oh, here, no, you put it on my phone. I erase the shit as soon as I leave from you. <laughs> right? right? Right, right. You know you're a side piece if you have to ask for gas money. Yeah. <laughs> you a side piece. Who asked for gas money? <laughs> I had to drive over here to see you. If you got to ask, oh, you're just ass out of luck, right? <laughs> okay. No, they only take a shopping at Rainbow or a K&G. <laughs> Hey, baby, you want to go shopping? Yeah, I want to go to Victoria's Secret. No, we're going to Rainbow. <laughs> I don't know. See, look, I might be telling you, you know, a little bit about my age. You know, I'm only 25. But you remember that store? What? You beg to differ. I'm only 25. Okay. You remember that store then? Or rave in the yeah. early 90s? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Last one here. 
they only take you out on Wednesdays. Why can't you go out on Tuesdays or Thursdays? That's when they drink at least half off. I mean, damn, on a Wednesday. Who goes out on a Wednesday? I got to go to work the next day. <laughs> Have you been out on a Wednesday? You're no. married. It doesn't matter. You taking somebody out on a Wednesday? Mm. It don't matter. You're gay. All right. So, so what we learned from this here now is that side pieces are something great. If you're a side piece, sorry for you. You probably won't get any other benefits, but good luck with that, you know, trying to get insurance and whatnot. But, you know, like, I mean, to be on a more serious note, yes, I'm trying to be serious here. If you're going to be a side piece, you're going to do, you know, at least be a side piece right, you know. At least look to par. Don't look worse than the main okay. chick. Don't be that one, all right? And don't be that side dude who always wear white beaters outside and they do rag. Right. And step your game up. I'm just saying it. And don't get your earrings from the beauty supply, <laughs> men. Just not right. All right. It was a pleasure having both of you guys on. Thank and you know, you. and I think Ellen Mac J is out of a job because I'm going to be here probably every week. She better watch out now. Oh, <laughs> I wow. Did that. I, I think I did better. Don't you think? It doesn't matter what you did. All right. <laughs> so until next time, I want you I, guys to, you know, to I. What does she say? It doesn't matter what she says. I'm taking her job. <laughs> Join the combo. Uh, you know, ca catch us, because I'll be back. You can catch us at any time, all right? Now, now you two come back. Now, until then, you can get Bye-bye. <laughs> I can't even take a vacay. I just got a phone call. Have to cut it short because I hear Mrs. Such and Such is up there reciting Biggie's lyrics that Rich Homie Quan forgot. So I gotta get back to the studio and we'll see y'all in two weeks. So see y'all.